Oh, you mentioned to me in an email that there's a time travel associated with Disney. Can you get into that a bit, please? <laughs> okay. So, okay, so Disney World. Walt Disney built Disney World out in the middle of nowhere, right? Like literally it was like they say it was swamp, swamp land um, that he bought up. So he creates Disney World out there and it's called the Magic Kingdom. You know, is there a reason it could be called the Magic Kingdom? Well, some say that there is a magical spring that Disney World was built over, um, a kind of fountain of youth type thing. And that emanation of that, that magic wellspring, so to speak, is what gave it its name of the Magic Kingdom. So while, while I was there, and what was I, I think in the Star Wars or walking towards the Star Wars section of Disney, um, I started getting these thoughts in my head. Time travelers, you know, time travelers are, have, are, have been arriving. And I'm like, what? Time travelers have been arriving. And so I'm like, so I do my muscle testing. Okay, how many time travelers have arrived so far today? Oh, there have been 300. Where are they coming in from? Tomorrowland. <laughs> I'm like, Tomorrowland. So I'm in the Magic Kingdom. There's like time travelers arriving, coming in someplace through Tomorrowland. I'm like, why are they doing this? Like, why would a time traveler want to go to Disney World? Why, why wouldn't they go to Universal Studios or, or some or someplace else? But there's there's a couple different concepts. One of the concepts is that it's kind of like the world's fairs. So in the 1800s and 1900s, we had these world's fairs where you know, all these people go to the World's Fair and all these people would exit from the World's Fair. It'd be a perfect place if you were to portal into this reality to go into a large area like this where if you were maybe not observed being seen entering it, no problem to leave and it's no problem to stay into this reality. So, for example, in one of the videos that I, that I wrote, that I wrote, that I created, uh, I believe it was my time traveling babies video. I was talking about the concept of world's fairs, the concept of certain airports where you know, you've, you've got, or even Disney world, you've got all of these checks and security before you get in, but to exit is no problem to exit. So it's very difficult to get into an airport terminal. You know, you have to show ID, you have to have your passport, you have to have this, blah, 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 but it's very easy to exit. You just walk right out. So, that's one concept. Like perhaps there were there were those that were actually entering this reality through through Disney. Um, there's also the concept of what I call pay to play, which means that in the future, Disney World may not exist. But if you are a time traveler or have that ability, you might want to have a Disney exp experience while the park is at its heyday. And let me tell you, there's so the amount the crowds. The crowds at Disney, like that, well, they say uh, an average of a quarter of a, a quarter of a million people on average go through Disney every day. It's probably more than that, and they have like sixty thousand staff that are there. There's there's like hundreds of thousands of people that are in Disney every day. So, if you consider that, just the sheer crowds of people, you know, and there's and there's other aspects to how this all would could work, but. It's very interesting to, you know, embrace that concept of the possibility that in the future, a place like Disney World may not exist. It could be 10, 20, 30 years into the future or however long that would be. And then people that would be able to have that experience would want to come to Disney. Yeah, I'll spend a day in, in Disney and uh, for you pay a little bit more, you get like your lightning pass or whatever they're calling it to go through the rides faster. But yeah, so all, all of that, like, just adds more levels and layers to possible ways that the reality uh, could could operate. So those are the kinds of messages that I that I was getting.